In this example of introduction to 2D machining, we're going to be machining the center portion of the rocker arm. We're going to have to create a new setup as well as apply a couple of new operations. Let's actually take a look at how this rocker arm will be positioned in a vise for machining. So what I did is I actually positioned it right inside one of the vices and I've created a couple of soft jaws to hold it together and clamp it and keep it still as in machining. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get this guy programmed. So first thing is we're always going to create a new setup and under the cam ribbon toolbar I'm going to click setup come on over under stock and let's go ahead and drop that under mo mode and come and pick relative size box from here we're going to just set the values to zero for side offset and top offset and the reason why I'm doing this is because all I want to do is machine the center portion not the outside pieces so I don't really care what's outside of the the actual part but only what's on the inside so from here now, under model, what we're going to do is under stock point, we're going to pick the center top of the stock to designate as our for a work coordinate system. But then two, you can notice the position of the blue arrow. The blue arrow needs to be facing north. So what I need to do is I actually need to orientate that in the correct direction. So to do that, what we're going to do is if I pick the stem of the arrow and then pick maybe the line or face that I want to be parallel to it, it would actually now orientate it parallel to that edge or line. Now if I click the head of the arrow, it will flip the direction so that I have positive Z facing upward. From here, I can go in and right click, use my marking menu, say OK, and now I've created that new setup. The next step now is under 2D, drop down, we're going to go to 2D Pocket, and I'm going to go to come over here to, to Tool, and I'm going to go and pick a half inch end mill, flat end mill. What I did is under my rocker arm library, I actually created all the, the or dragged and copied all the, the tools I, need, I want to work with in this example. Or I can go through, dive down under here and grab under these sample libraries, the tools that I want to work with as well and copy them over to a custom library. So just to speed things up, I created my own library and the tool that I'm working with is a half inch flat end mill which a with a uh, flute length of you know three inches I'm gonna go and pick that say okay and the reason why I'm going with a fatter tool right here even though that tool looks like it can't get within these these fillets to machine those fillets I want to talk about a process here because we're gonna rough out that center then come in and do a finishing pass with a smaller end mill to clean things up so from here now we're gonna come over here to the geometry and for geometry, I'm going to go in and pick this outside edge. As you can see, the outside edge is actually going to pick up this entire loop, which is not what I want. All I want to machine is just a specific area or the center. So what I'm going to do is select that outside edge, then select it again. It will now bring up the mini toolbar. So with the mini toolbar, I'm going to go and pick open contour. And with the open contour now, I'm going to go through and I can now pick the geometry that I want to machine in this example, which is this outside. These I'm just going to go and pick these outside edges all the way through. And one last one, I can go to rotate around in this example, just like that. Pick that edge, go and say, hit the little plus sign, the green plus sign. And now there is the parameter that I want to work with. But as you notice, it's actually machining the blue solid blue which is the outside of uh, of that pocket which is not what i want if i zoom in i want to machine the inside so if i pick that little red arrow it will flip the direction and machine everything on the inside so from here now you notice that where that plane is it's not all the way down to the model bottom so under the heights tab what i'm going to do from here now is under bottom height come down to model bottom and now it's going to show me the model bottom and say it's a machine all the way down to that or two if i want to machine a little bit past the model bottom i can actually pick the plane and the arrow and move it however far i want it to go down which is always nice to know is you can grab these planes in the screen and move it or keen uh a number right here so if i want to go down 0.25 it can actually change right there as well so once we have that use the marking menu say okay now apply that tool strategy just like that. So we take a look at this and if we simulate, right click, say simulate, do a stock simulation in this example, 
what you're going to see is going to the top view is it actually left a little bit of material right here and the reason for that is because because that tool is too fat to get right into that corner so what we're going to do go and exit out or if i'm going to go first i'm going to hit play so you guys can see exactly what's done here play this guy right through so come right in and machine that guy out just like that so lastly now so we're going to close that out. We want to actually machine that those areas to where that tool couldn't get into. So what we're going to do is come back up to 2D, come down to 2D pocket. I'm actually for a tool going to now pick a under my library a quarter inch flat end mill with a flute length of around two. Say OK. Now I'm going to come under geometry and I'm now going to go ahead and pick that same geometry again. If I select that outside edge, click it again, it brings up the mini toolbar, activate open contour, and just pick exactly what I want to machine, just like that. Going right around as my parameter, hit the little green check, the little plus sign. Grab the little, hit the little red arrow to flip it on the inside. Under heights, change the heights to model bottom. Because the machine down to the model bottom, even a little bit past it too. Can even grab this guy, select it, and now it's going to move down just like that. See it change. And then now under geometry, we're going to turn on something called rest machining meaning that we're only going to machine the area to where that tool diameter couldn't get into. So it's going to look at the geometry, analyze it, and say, hey, machine only that specific area just like that. So as we look at it on this avenue, if I come in, right-click, say simulate. Come on in here. Let's go from the top piece down. And if I hit play, go right through. Machine all here with the fatter tool, which is a half inch end mill. Come in with the smaller tool and get right in there to machine those areas. So this is a great process. Depending on your machining process, use a fatter tool to rough it out quickly and then come in with a smaller tool, adjust the fees and speeds, and machine the areas that the fatter tool couldn't get into. Great, great process to go through so hopefully this guys give hopefully this gives you guys a great idea of how to work with setup number three as well as an introduction to 2d pocket as well as rest machining thanks again